Happy spring. This is Mike Mazio, Solar Living. Uh, we're here to uh, remind you what to check during your solar pool heating system startup so your pool will be heated effectively this season like it has in the past. And we're going to go through a couple things you should be checking to make sure they're in the right position and operating properly. As always, if uh, you have any questions, please call our office at 973-691-8483. be happy to help you out. Uh, but we want to show you a few things on this video uh, to check before you call, or at least be prepared to point out at your filter some of the equipment we're going to ask you about over the phone so that you can check a few things that may be easily fixed uh, and get your system up and running. Okay, one of the most common calls that we get every season is that my pool is not heating. Um, don't know if the solar is on, it's not working, or the valve is not turning. And most often it's because on, if you have this style actuator, uh, there's a toggle switch here. And if you see, there's on one, off on two. And underneath this area is the switch. We wire all of our controls to operate in on one. So that pushes the switch toward the on one sticker label. And that would be heating mode. If it's in the off position, it won't turn. And if it's in on two position, it's going to work in reverse, meaning it will send water to the solar collectors when they are colder than the pool, which means it will take heat away. And that's not why you put the solar pool heating system in for your pool. So that's one of the first things that you want to check. The other thing is you always want to confirm that your heating position of the valve corresponds with the heating light in your control or a message that says solar enabled if you have the Pentair control. Again, please call our office if you have any questions about your specific setup for your filter. Um, here you see white arrow and on the handle it says close. This is where the gate is in the valve underneath the motor so there's no water flowing past this point which means the water goes this way in this particular filter setup that is the solar pipe so this is heating mode we're blocking flow back to the pool which means the water has to go up to the collectors and then the heated water comes back and then into your pool so where the white arrow is should correspond when solar heating is on the green light is on the white arrow should be pointing at the pipe that goes back toward the pool which also has a t fitting which connects to the from collector's pipe which should be labeled at your filter in this particular filter arrangement they have the aqua solar digital control with time uh, timer and you can see here that the power light is green indicating there's power to the unit that should always exist when you're starting up if there's no power light uh, then your unit may not be functioning properly uh, it won't have the power to turn the actuator on or off uh, solar mode so you need to remedy the power situation just make sure it's plugged in or your breaker is on that provides power out to this equipment here the switch is in the auto position uh, it may say manual off at the bottom on your particular control and manual test at the top uh, they do vary but the operating position for most of your season is auto uh, in this instance the roof is slightly warmer than the pool and the heating light is on which means the solar valve should be in the heating position which as we indicated before we're blocking flow to the pool forcing flow to the collectors so that means we're in heating mode this arrangement lines up properly if this toggle switch was in the incorrect position as i just placed it this is opposite it's blocking flow to the collectors meaning the control says it's in heating mode but the valve position says it's bypassing the solar panels because it now blocked flow to the solar panels and the fix is that toggle switch should be in the on one position. Other things you want to check every spring on startup is all of your union collars on your shutoff valves. 
installed on the two collector and front collector pipes are tightened your valve positions are open so water will flow to and from the collectors properly you also want to step back and inspect the roof from the ground a safe spot and see if there's any uh, wet areas on the roof or water spraying off the roof um, and obviously give us a call if you should spot a leak anywhere also just check that all the hardware and the strapping is still intact after a severe winter like we had uh, this past February uh, 2021 you want to make sure that all of your strapping and hardware uh, is intact on the roof so you have optimal wind protection and security of the system on your home again any questions please call our office 973-691-8483 solar living solar pool heating system startup we hope you have a wonderful season